Welcome to another edition of JavaScript Review. This morning I wanted to take a look at the on function. And this is something that's new in J jQuery 1.7. If you're using anything before that, you want to use the now deprecated live event. So what you want to do is you want to do something like this for custom events. And that's what I'm going to go through today. I have, I have a selector here looking for the p tag. And on my custom event, meaning when I fire that event, I'm going to execute this function here. So I'm going to pass this in and I'm going to put some text out on the screen and then I'm going to have a little thing that fades in and out showing what my name is. So here's the button and on the click I'm going to trigger my custom event with the argument James which is going to pass in here. So to see how that all functions you come up here I have a button with a custom event attached and that's the text that's up here and that's the text that's going to be replaced. Then I'm going to trigger the event and have some stuff fade in and out here. So you see what happens there. That text got replaced and then this fades in and out there. So that's how you use the on function in jQuery for custom event handling. What you can do is you can attach it to anything on the page and then trigger your event. And that's a non-browser event. You can also use it to trigger browser events if you want or to handle browser events. And we'll go through that in future screencasts. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.